Hello and welcome everyone back to the GeoWizard channel and back to the GeoDetective series, uh, a relatively new but popular series in which I painstakingly try to locate my fans, my Patreons, uh, who have sent me enough photos already by the way, so please don't send me any more, um, using the limited information that is on their photo. Or maybe not so limited, or maybe ridiculously limited. Uh, they vary. Uh, but so far, I've done all right. I've successfully identified the five locations. Uh, but last week, for the first time, I gave up. It had been going on too long. Here was the photo in question. Aaron Amberleaf and his hipster friends. I was pretty sure this was in London, and that's where I searched for hours, trying to find this housing estate with the uh, plane trees. Uh, but just, I mean, it, London's too big, and I couldn't find it. Uh, and I decided, look... As obsessive as I am, I'm going to have to call this a day. I even messaged uh, a YouTuber who you may have seen called Tom. Uh, another Tom. And he's a taxi driver in London. And he's insane at GeoGuessr in London. Like literally, he got a perfect score without moving in a minute. Because he can literally, you go, oh, Chancery Lane. He scrolls in and he knows everywhere. So I thought, why don't I show him this? But even he didn't know where this was. He said it was Bermondsey, which is in the south of London. But I thought it would be cool if, if he could get this right and we could make a video out of it. But uh, he didn't know where it was, unfortunately. He didn't recognise these bollards, these distinctive bollards. Anyway, where was it? Well, here was my marker. I put it down half-heartedly in Shoreditch. Here is where it actually was. So it's London. Here it is there. An area close to Regent's Park and an area which I definitely searched in. In fact, I'm pretty sure at some point, I can't be bothered to go trawling through the footage, but I'm pretty sure I put my marker down on one of these. But the houses look are different. I put it down there. Yeah, 100%. If I'd have just looked over there, that might have lured me towards the actual street, which is just round the corner. Um, and it's here, look. Let's take a look at it. Here's the proof. There it is. And these things that I was looking at, Mallory, Mallory Street is the name of the road. That there, which looked like um, L. RHF or LRHP or it looked like letters for sure is just seven eight nine and ten and that there Fulmer house I mean that U there looked exactly like an A it was an A there was that that's the that's the letter I was most sure about it was a U so very distorted signage going on uh, but excuses excuses that's my first fail um, and the distance between are two markers, 3.26 miles, so about five kilometers away. So I'm not too ashamed of that. I got the right city and I also got the right side of the Thames. But yeah, that is my first fail in this series. Uh, last week, I also correctly identified Bananas Hippledick, who was in Yosemite National Park. And today, we move on. We move on to... Barry Eggington. Oh yes, here he is. Uh, and yeah, I haven't given this much thought. I haven't really looked at it at all. I did notice the Spanish writing, but that's about it. Haven't given it any thought. So here we go. We begin with the bald Barry Eggington. And yeah, where do we start? Guardia Civil. So that's something I'll instantly Google. Um, there's not a lot here for me to just go into Google Maps Oh, that's, um, I didn't even realise that's, uh, what do you call it, a chairlift. Uh, there's probably a better name for it than that, a gondola. Yeah, I didn't notice that, that that's what that was. I thought it was some sort of stage at a festival to begin with. I can see the lines there now. Let's zoom in a bit. Oh, can we read that? There's some writing on there. Del, to Del Toro. First word beginning begins with T. So, 
something de del todos torre i don't know can't read it which is good I'm, i like the fact we can't read it because that would make it too easy and then we've got what looks to be the c there that seat that everyone's sitting on looks to be running alongside the coast and then we've got rocks the other side of it maybe not sure we might be up a mountain i'm not sure and then that would be a cliff on the sea that's the vibe i'm getting but i'm not sure but guardia civil yeah i i think google is the place to go first uh, the google search engine and type some of this stuff in won't lie, I'm thinking of Gibraltar right now. I'm thinking, is there a chairlift up to Gibraltar? I don't know, it's a long shot, uh, but let's type it in. Gibraltar chairlift. Cable car, right? It's the wrong color. Yeah, rock of Gibraltar cable car. So there is one, but all the pictures have this white one, uh, this sort of older looking white one, which we don't have here. Um, Guardia Civil, what do I Google next? Let's just type in Guardia Civil. Car, right? See if we, yeah, there you go, look, look at that. Ha. <laughs> Okay, we've even got the right number there, 062. That is the same car. So, police launch hunt for four-year-old toddler missing in Valencia. Hope the toddler was found. I really do. But um, I'm more interested in finding Barry right now. Sorry, but I am. I'm that into it. Uh, right, so that's in Valencia. So, let's try and find others. Here's another one, 062. Okay, well at least we know we're in Spain, if nothing else. That's that's really something. Um, so Spain, by the coast, cliffs, chairlift. Um, cable car, coast, Spain. I'm just vibing here. Look at that. That looks a lot like the one we have in Barry's. Yeah, look at the... Look at the silver strip there. Yeah, that looks a lot like it. But what's written on Barry's photo? Yeah, it's a bit different, isn't it? But uh, where is that? Where is that? Cable car rides over the highest mountain in Spain. I wonder if it's... Could it be Tenerife? Does that go up to Tenerife? Could that be Tenerife, Barry? Yeah, I guess that could be Tenerife, couldn't it? All right, um, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Guardia Civil Car, Tenerife. Just confirm that it's uh, the same car. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, uh, cable car. Tenerife. Let's get some other angles of other places. Could he be at the top of that volcano, Caldera? No, because it's going to go up, isn't it? The cable car's going up. Look at the angle of the ladders. So we're at the bottom. I didn't get the vibe that we were very high up anyway. Um, so let's keep looking. Look at that. That's it. That's it, right? Look at the chair. The seat over there. Uh, let's just look at this building more to the point. Uh, that little bit at the side of it. Yep, that's it. We found you, mate. So, where is that? Tier de Cable Car. That is an awful map. So, right, I see what's going on here. You start at the bottom of the... You don't start by the sea. I mean, that would be a ridiculously long cable car, wouldn't it? You start there. 
Teleferico del Teide. So here we go, straight in. We're zooming straight there. Imagine if this is right. Well, we think it is. We think it is. It is, basically. There we go. Yeah, so he was high up. I was wrong to say that Barry here was near the sea. He's actually pretty high. And why wouldn't he be? Back we go. Jesus. Let's see if we can put the man down. We can. Look at that. Oh, Barry. We've sussed you out, mate. We've completely sussed you out. I mean, it's changed. It doesn't look the same. I still think that's the same. It's Yeah, it's got to be. I think it's just quite an old picture. We don't have any of these road markings on the floor. Um, although that was taken in 2011. I mean, the fact that we've Googled it and this is the only one that comes up just cements it. So, Barry, I'm going into Google Earth and I'm putting the marker down, my man. Putting the marker down. Uh, it's not going to take us long to even put this down. We're in line with that ladder. And, yeah, we, we really don't have to be stupidly accurate here. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it down there, I think. There you go. You can't really argue with that, Barry. Barry Eggington. And this is going to be a, a doubler. We're going to have two, at least two in this episode. Maybe even three if the next one, whatever that is, is quick. Uh, so Barry Eggington, there is the marker I'm putting down. I will email that to Barry himself. And I'm just curious, how far does this go up? Wow! Oh my god. Goes right up to there, doesn't it? Goodness me. I've considered doing a straight line mission over Tenerife, you know. But I um, can't remember why I decided against it, other than that it's a huge volcano. Anyway, I'll email that to Barry. He will confirm that I'm correct, because this is one that we're fairly sure about. And uh, we'll move on to the next one. So, Barry is done. Thank you, Barry. Here it is. Here's the next one. Who is this? It's Billy Biscuit. That's a great name. Billy Biscuit. Uh, and Billy looks to be somewhere in Europe. France, Austria, that sort of thing. I don't think I, I really need to name any other countries because it's that sort of country, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's a lovely stately home slash palace with gardens. Uh, it's beautiful, as we can all see. Billy Biscuit himself, as a specimen, he's got a super dry... Is that super dry? I think so. It's a bit distorted, but super dry top on. He's fairly pale. He could be from most countries in Europe, really. He could be from France. He could be from Britain. Um, he could be from Italy if he was in the very far north reaches of Italy. But then he'd probably be called Billy Biscotti or something like that. But um, anyway, what do we do here? What do we do? I think we Google large palace yellow. I don't know. Or just, just palace gardens... I'll get to work on Google, and we'll see what happens. France, palace, yellow, gardens, yeah? Just something like that. What is that? Is that verse, palace of Versailles? That is, hang on a minute, that's huge. I didn't think that was that big. But we're not there, we're in a, we're in a much more bite-sized palace. Um, so, Palace of Versailles is going to take up... Ooh, Luxembourg Gardens? No. Okay, we're starting to get other ones now. The Palace of Versailles is dominating the search, but... There should be enough other ones. Huh. That's 
Could be more like it. Gardens of Fontaine Bleu. Shut it. There's lots here. It's got that's got the same kind of affair with this hedge, this small hedge that's in the shape of something, ornate little hedges. Um, it's got that thing going on, but that might be common. Certainly not the right colour of the floor. Seems to be common place in France, so we'll move on. Look, there's another one with that. Look at that. Dusal Palace. Ducal Parma. I think we're going to get this. Um, I do think we're going to get there. But it's about how quick can I do it. Okay, I'm going to try Austria. That was the other main candidate, wasn't it? According to me. Schönbrunn Palace in Vienna, which I've never been to. Doesn't look bad, does it? It's certainly Schön. Schön. Yeah, that might be a bit too big again, that one. And again, it's going to dominate the Google search, I would imagine. But we've got Hellbrunn Palace. The moment I've got nothing, but I think it's just a matter of time, as cocky as that sounds. Uh, is there anything else I can Google here? Most beautiful palace gardens. It might not be the most beautiful by any stretch, that's the thing. It might be quite an average gardens. Yellow walls, red roof. France. Europe. Could that be in Budapest? It reminds me of the one in Budapest. Okay, what are these hedges called? Let's let's find that out and maybe we can Google it that way. Topiary. Low ornamental hedging. Baroque flower beds. Baroque garden. This keeps popping up. Wonder if this is a Baroque garden. See, that, that kind of roof isn't a million miles off, is it? And that's in Hungary. That's what I'm saying. Hungary, Poland. Poland is another one that this could definitely be. Is this Warsaw? Is this where we are somehow? Oh, man. That's even more colourful and striking. It's not quite the same, is it? I, I, but I feel like I'm getting there. Baroque gardens, yellow walls. I'm just putting myself in the mind of an enthusiast, someone who would write an article, and I want to learn all their terminology to the point where, poof, it just pops up. Baroque garden, yellow walls, pale yellow walls. It'd be so funny if it popped up now. No, I think that's... Liechtenstein, Liechtenstein Garden Palace. That doesn't look... Baroque Vienna. Don't say I've got it now. Vienna's Secret Garden Palace. Look at the roof. No, it's different. It is different. Okay, I'm just kind of right-clicking on every palace now um, in this Wikipedia article, Baroque Gardens. So... Hoping I'll stumble across it, kind of like I did with that bridge on the first ever episode. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. I'll speed it up. Okay, it's none of them, which makes me think, is it even a Baroque garden? You know, it, it, it might not be, or a Baroque palace. Um, it might be earlier, might be later. I'm just on... 
list of royal palaces in Europe. And I'm just going through one by one. Oh, and we're at the end. How about that? Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yes, yes. Ludwigsburg Palace. Where's that Stuttgart? That's looking not bad. It's just these bits on the side. Are we around the back? Oh, let's get it up on Google Maps. Well, it's just in Ludwigsburg, just north of Stuttgart. Let's get that satellite on. Right. Because we've got, yeah, I think, yeah, I think we're down here. Look at this. You, I can already see the two towers there. Come on. Yeah, I'm liking that. Oh. Yeah, we've got it. Oh, brilliant. Right, where are you then, Billy? We found it. And that this will be it now for the for this episode. Uh, a solid two successes, but I've still got to put Billy down. I've got to plonk him right down in the right location. He's on. He's by the edge. Ah, I can see the edge of the fountain there. So actually, we can figure out exactly where he is. He will be about there because you can see the pattern. Yeah, he is there. So let's get on Google Earth. Uh, Ludwigsburg, Germany. Off we go to cooler pastures. And here it is. That was cool, man. Let's just put the marker down because this won't take us too long, actually. But just looking at the photo one more time, he's right by this plant pot. So if that plant pot's on there, they've actually moved that plant pot. But we can see that pattern there is there. So I'm putting the marker down. We, Again, we're talking 5, 10 meters. So it really doesn't matter. It's right on this occasion. Um, and let's type that in. Billy... Biscuit. Is that how you spell biscuit? I can never spell it. And there we have it. And I'll be sending that off to Billy as well. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, that is two correct locations found today in... I don't know how long that took me. Less than an hour. I mean, half an hour, I think. Um, so very gettable. I think the Googling skills are improving. Uh, in the end, I got it just by list of palaces in Europe. So really simple. I was going down these little tangents, these little rabbit holes, and they were getting me nowhere, trying to be clever as usual. But in the end, it was just a case of list of palaces in Europe. And it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The 26th one along. So you could argue the 26th most famous or most important palace ever constructed in Europe that's still standing. And there it is. Never heard of it. It's in Germany. It's near Stuttgart. Um, and I'm very, very happy to have found it. Thank you so much, Billy and Barry, for your submissions. Um, please don't send any more in, though, guys. I'm up to my ears in them now. And my emails are... As anyone who's emailed me will know, my emails are pretty backlogged. It's taken me about two or three months to reply on average. Uh, but anyway, uh, I really enjoyed that episode. Next week... We will be looking at these. I won't make, I won't enlarge them, but it's Bjorn Bunter and Bobby Tegnut. Um, there they are. That's what we'll be visiting next week. If we can get past Bjorn in his Sweden shirt, maybe that's a clue. Maybe it's a red herring. But thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you very soon. Ta-ra. <laughs>